Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Divide and Conquer campaign as Isengard. This is the penultimate episode, guys. There's only two more episodes, including this one. Uh, we will end on episode 50. I know it's been a while. It's been, uh, it's been a long time since I've played this game. So you'll have to forgive me if we're a little bit rusty. Um, we're only going to play two more episodes because we've basically got to the point Gondor is... We've not fully destroyed them, but they're pretty much destroyed at this point. Minas Tirith is taken. The Osgiliaths are also taken. We will try and get that before we go. We'll also try and take Moranon if we can. Uh, so the Witch King of Angmar, we're going to move him this way instead. Um, we've take, taken Minas Morgul. Mordor is pretty much on its last legs. It would just be a huge grind to completely finish those off. Uh, and Gondor's pretty much dead there's there's not much that could be done for them to save them um they've only got these few settlements left is it three four settlements left and that's it i don't think they've got anywhere down here um four settlements and, and obviously dol amroth has a few left as well but they're pretty much done there's not much that can be done for them so we're going to end the uh end the series um and i think we've had a good run uh, there's been some things that i've made mistakes on there's some things that i could have done better most certainly uh but i think we've had a good run we, we pretty much con have conquered the whole of the center of middle earth uh establishing ourselves as the predominant power in the uh, misty mountains and down in uh gondor rohan wherever you wherever you look um, as long as this side of the Anduin, we are the predominant power. And even into Mirkwood as well. We control the southern Mirkwood. Taken off our evil buddies, the Dol Amroth. But I think, because we're only two episodes, we can we can, we can can uh, throw caution to the wind a little bit, guys. And uh, move out with a lot of our troops. And I think I don't really care about Fenholm. I, I want to go and take Goblin Town off the Goblins. That, to me, seems more fun. Uh, and then Lurtz's rest over here. We'll send you into there just to keep hold of it. Over this side, this army in khazad isn't great. So I think we leave it there. Where was that massive army? So we have uh, Krushnash the Conqueror over here. But we did just make a huge army in Dolgoror. I can't remember where it went. Did it go to Aknot Yorn? Where has it disappeared to? Let's go with that. So we've got the Witch King of Angar, Shivus, Lower Gladden, Pelennor Fields, Ringlow Vale, Brown Boat, Morgul Vale. That's, I guess that's it then. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's fine. What's uh, What do they have in Osgiliath here? Well, they have Olokai. That's... Not a fight I really want to take, but I kind of want to finish with Osgiliath in our hands. So, if that other army doesn't come in, I think we will go for it. Yeah, it doesn't. There's only nine Olokai as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think we go for it. I know it's a bit difficult attacking across the bridge, but hopefully we'll win. I mean, to be fair, we don't have that much infantry really, do we? Hmm. How many turns left has it got? Three. I think we can. I think we can leave it. They'll. They'll sally out. Ethering only has one turn. So, without further ado, guys, let us end the turn. I'll, I'll keep the camera over here. Hopefully, it stays there. So we'll have a look. Well, it doesn't stay there straight away because we've got troops moving down. Oh well. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I'm not bothered about Austin Gale. Clear defeat. Fine. I'm not going to waste time on these small battles on the last two episodes, guys, because there's no real point. We might as well do uh, all the big battles rather than the small ones. Hopefully, Ethering falls this turn. That would be very nice indeed. Very good to see. Um, yeah, there's no point wasting time on those tiny little battles. Really doesn't matter. Clans of Enidwyth, you are currently the... This has very, been a very weird game. 
We haven't fought the Enidwyth at all. And they are currently the strongest... <laughs> the strongest nation. Which is quite funny, really, when you think about it. They're attacking the camp. Of course they are. So, we're going to have a fight here. It looks like it's going to be on a bridge, which is great for us. Uh, let's have a look. Morfinthor. Black Group Vale. Steward Golasil. So, Glasgow. So, Glasgow is now the steward. He has a trebuchet. Knights of the Silver Swan as well, but only seven of them. But even seven can do some serious damage. And these guys, why would you select night battle and not allow your guys to come in? That is very dumb. Very dumb of you, Morfinthor. You're not allowing these other two to come in. Uh, where? So let's have a look. So Morfinthor is there. And Stuart Glasgow is there. So he's not actually... Oh, okay. That's why. He didn't want to bring in the city. The city will fall anyway. So as long as we win this, that'll be fine. They're going to attack across a river, but we will be fighting them from the behind as well. Anyway, guys. Um... Yeah, well, it's been it's been a very fun run. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been pretty good so far. Um, this is yeah, it's it's been it's been good, and uh, hopefully we do another divide and conquer. Hopefully on version five, whenever that comes out, unless it's out already. I, I've not really checked, so could be out already, but I'm not too sure. So Glasgow is going to come in from behind us. Ah, uh, we have to use all these old. Ah. Uh, these older uh, commands, which are very, very hard to use. Look at this. This is one of the best bridge maps I think I may have ever seen. This is unbelievably good for defense. I... <laughs> good luck to them getting through this. Get there. Get these guys here. These guys can protect our behind. We'll also leave you here to deal with the cavalry. Don't want to use our trolls. Leave them there. Then what else do we have? We have you. And so you and you and you go here. Uh, cavalry. Doesn't matter. I think the cavalry can deal with uh, Galazgil, really. What an amazing battle map for us. Never seen such a harsh battle map. So harsh. Good luck to them coming up. Let's wait. They're going to get absolutely pummeled by our by our um, crossbows as well. Watch this, boys. Watch this. This is going to be brutal. Oh, look at it. That is glorious. That is absolutely glorious. That is a lot of dead. Man, it's going to continue. What a battle map, eh? Oh! Look at that! Oh, and they're running away now. Half their men already in two volleys. And if they stay down there... Okay, it's going to be a little less damaging because they're less bunched up now. And a lot have died. Well done, boys. Great fighting. And we're on top of this hill, just waiting for them. Poor guys. Just been shot down like rats. Uh, okay. What do they actually have? I mean, if they get that trebuchet working, it could do some real damage. Where's Glasgow? Where is Glasgow? Oh, he's over there. Uh, I think... Get there, boys. I think that's all we really need to fight these guys. We probably lost a couple of our troops there to our own archers. To our own crossbowmen. What an amazing... Imagine fighting on this map against many enemies. Even this side. You could have all your archers here firing down into there. That would be un unbelievable. You really don't know what they're doing, do they? Poor guys. That's, uh, well, that's one general dead. Morfinthor. 
has died. Come on, Uruk, show us one last time how gloriously strong you are. Wait, Galasgill? Oh, he must be. Wait, Galasgill? What's. Is he a uh, Amphalas Pikeman? Is that him there? It is! So he's an Amphalas Pikeman. Interesting. Get our armor piercing boyos in here. They will shred to pieces those boyos. Let's go. The Knights of the Silver Swan, even though there's only seven, you can see they still do serious, serious damage. Come on, guys. What are you doing? We fully killed them yet? I mean, there's only three left, so we don't really need to do anything else. Kill the knights. They should be doing good damage against these Gondor infantry with their armor piercing. Get out. Get there. Fantastic. Glorious. Forget how glorious this game is. I think the one thing that's that's slightly frustrating is just the uh, the commands. Like having to use the old style commands, like the original Medieval 2 commands rather than any uh, the newer ones, is actually quite frustrating. It's a lot harder to use. Oh, he's dead already. Oh, glorious. Come on. Break them. Get out, boys. The trebuchet people still there? Oh, they are. Only seven of the boys. Let's go. Get them. I don't think we've hardly lost any of those. Like four, maybe? Wavering. We're not going to break them. Come on. I thought we would have broken them in that charge. One thing that's absolutely glorious, though, about this mod is just how powerful those cavalry charges are. Just don't really see it elsewhere. These cavalry charges are just brutally, brutally strong. Even for, like, base units like these guys. The war mar marauders. Ah, oh, they've gone. They've gone. Let's get in the back of here, then. Let's speed it up. Oh! They've gone. Um, how many have we killed? 92. That should be enough. Fantastic. Well done, boys. Well done. Crossbow's doing some decent damage. The Bane Guard, 67. That's actually fantastic. Even better than the... A lot better than the Marauders. 37 for the All Thank God. 70 for that Bane Guard. Well done, boys. That's that's really good. Ah, oh, glorious. Glorious, glorious. Good to see our Uruks smashing people to pieces once again. What, boyos? Ah, Yes. Hmm. Yes, Quendi, who came into the hands of Melkor, breed the hideous race of the orcs in envy and mockery of the elves, of whom they were afterwards the bitterest foes. That is the saddest thing about the orcs, is that they were elves and they were tortured and bent into becoming orcs. It's very sad. Uh, they come. They come to attack again, do they? I mean, I'm just going to auto-resolve because, as I say, there's no point fighting that. We only lost 83 in the auto-resolve as well. Exterminate the boyos. So they're happy. I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a oxymoron. It's happiness from repression, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's uh, not, a, not, a, not a nice happiness, let's say. <laughs> Um, but yeah. The steward of Gondor is dead, yes. We know. He's a dead boy once again. Hello. I like your, uh, war paint. Hush. Hoshnaz. Hoshnaz the boyo. 
And let's uh, let's go. Who should we leave? I think we leave the Dunlending guys behind. Oh, we could go for that draw out battle on Tarnost. And then literally they only have two left. And we could probably destroy them properly within these two episodes. Kaz of Doom, get those roadies. Let's his rest. For the drill square. Not that this uh, this really matters anymore. Dol Amroth. Go for the Dark Ca Temple of Melkor. Dol Lingvar is just constantly unhappy. Right, so I think we leave Hoshnash behind. We'll go back to Austin Gale to try and take it back. Don't want to leave it untaken. Nice. Aglaracor is doing some serious work for the boys. So, uh, go towards Goblin Town. If they want to attack us, that's fine. They will have the skin changes. Oh no, he has Greenwood Foresters. Wow. Wow. Now that is, that is good. <laughs> Those skin changes are ridiculously strong. Let's get you up here. Let's see what's going on. Stay right there. Okay, we will. Stay right there. Right. Witch King of Angmar, my boy. Oh, they left. Well, that's good for us. Oh, sugar. Did not mean to do that. Let's go for Moranon anyway. Knock him out of the way. To go all the way around that way to get to Moranon. Why can you see so little? Yeah, that's better. Ah, there's a lot of uh, Mordor armies out here, but I'm really not interested in fighting them. That's... They're not brilliant, are they? Do you know what? We should go for Fanwil Fanwilon with this army. We should try and get some mercenaries on the way, though. Who do I want to leave behind? I mean, the Dunlending Horsemen are the worst out of all those, so... It's such Oh, we've got Pelagir as well. Forgot about that. Let's go for that. What do you have in Pelagir? Just two units. Have we got any mercenaries available? How about over here? Nope. It's unfortunate. Hmm. And then Ethring. Where do we have troops? We got you boys. You boys can come into Ethring if we leave. Get into Ethring, my boys. Good. So we can do a draw out battle for Tarnost here. And I'm sure we'll win. Yep. Marathor, he's got Seaward Lancers, General, and Gondor Infantry. Durvion. Hmm. He has got Knights of the Silver Swan. Gonna have to use our crossbows against them. What are his generals? Just a standard general bodyguard. Fantastic. Uh, that's not going to make a difference, is it? No. Nope. Let's go. Hopefully we can take uh, Tarnost in this uh, one turn. In a big battle, once again. Fantastic. Very nice to see. Very good. Very good indeed. Oh, you'll love to see it. Leaving troops outside the cities like that. I believe that their troops will come from directly behind them. So we will start upon the hill. Castle on the hill, eh? Uh, you guys. So let's get there. And we'll get you. You. You in reserve. Crossbow boyos in the front. General here. Uh, and then just the cavalry can all come together. Do have trolls. We will use them if needs be. Ah, see, I just uh, I just tried to use alt to move the army, but <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? So yeah, they are coming directly from the front. Let's get there. Let's get these boyos. There. You guys to the left. You guys to the right. 
Charlie O's behind. General. And reserves. And then cavalry. I think right flank. Looks like most of their cavs on the right flank. You guys you guys run. Get there. And then we'll kind of use try and use this ridge. It's a decent spot for defense. There. And I mean we might as well use the trolls, hey. We're not gonna use them again, so why don't we just uh We'll use them. We will use them. There's no point keeping them safe now, is there? No point at all. What do you say? Kill the blood of Rohan or something? There's already been killed, bro. <laughs> God, these crossbows are just deadly. The Knights of the Silver Swan, where are they? All of you can fire at them, so fire at them now. Are they coming into us? Can if they want. I'm just happy to just leave the archers here for now. Because they will disengage the charge. It's not really done anything that charge. Ah, we just shot ourselves in the foot a little bit though. Tell you what I love about this mod. The, these battle maps are really good as well. They're, they're very big. So you get plenty of choice of the terrain you want to set up on. Go on, Seaward Lancers. Do your worst. Who are these guys? General's bodyguard running straight into our spear guard. Have you ever heard of a berserker, my friend? Because he's not going to be too happy when he sees you. Is that where they're setting up? I think it's Bane Guard time, boys. Think it's Bane Guard time, you know. That that lance is going to be a bit annoying. Uh, he will kill the Berserker. Will deal with them though. Archers, come this way. Get in there. Get forward. Very good, boys. Very good. Let's come forward. Let's kill this general's bodyguard. Can you fire? Fortunate. I wonder if you got further forward you could. Trolleys? I think we go with the trolls. Let's get in, kill that general's bodyguard. Whoop. Don't need to do that. Come on, the boys! Final march of the trolls. Let's go. Kill them. Oh, glorious. Glorious trolls. Oh, they're just shredding them now. It's beyond brutal. Lancers are going to go for another charge. Not done a huge amount of damage, have they? Can you guys fire yet? Oh, they're firing the wrong way. Firing that way is, is really not going to help us. Come on, trolls. Let's go. Kill this general's bodyguard. I think we've just smashed him to pieces with a troll. Very nice. That's what we like to see. Merathor. Deaded. Now you should be able to fire. Fire at them. Put you on guard mode as well. Uh, let's attack the Gondor Spearmen. Citadel guard, ideally. 
Let's fire at them. Alright, the general's bodyguard. You fire at the Gondor Spearman. Is that them all dead? Very good. Let's uh, come forward then. Run if you can. Trollios. Get behind. General. Forward. Same with you guys. We'll get you over to the right flank. And the Berserker O's. Here as well. Good, glorious, glorious. Can we fire at... Everyone fire at them now. This is really important. We need some good volleys off on these boys. I'm quite happy if we, uh, if we leave our guys to take a charge, honestly. Come on, fire. It's really important. Volley. <laughs> take the charge. Oof. God. Right now, behind, boys. They're going to get us with their cavalry a little bit. I'll fire into there. Where's my reserve, boyos? Well, let's go. Let's get this cam cavalry militia. Where are my cavalry? I've, I've uh, neglected them for a little while, haven't I? Let's go. Kill this Gondor cavalry. Get into them. Right, Trollos. Let's get you around this side. Let's uh, get those cavalry. The wolves are hungry. Fantastic. Where are we, Trollos? Getting that Knights of the Silver Swan. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them all. Get there, my boys. Well, thank God, should be easily able to hold down here. Everyone else should be doing good. We've got, we've got a lot of armor piercing in our lines. That has really been the MVP of this uh, of this uh, war with Gondor. Our Bane Guard, they have been extremely, extremely good. Oh, hello. Gondor Cavalry. Let's get into them. Wrong thing. Let's go charge. Right, the Gondor Archers. Good. Glorious. Glorious. Fantastic. Kill them. Come on, boys. Kill those Knights of the Silver Swan. Still not lost a single Trollo yet. Come on, Trollos. Kill them. Who are these? More generals, bodyguards. Ah, oh, it's, it's good. Everything is good, quite good. Up this way. Let's flank them. Stop them escaping. Kill them. Kill those goddamn knights of the Silver Swan. Come on, get through. You idiots, man. You know what we should do? Got a nice little hill here. Get everyone there, especially the ones that are in combat. Get them away from the combat. Right, trolls. Time for you to go. Cavalry. Let's go into there. Come on, trolls. Need some fighting from you now. Who are we fighting? General's bodyguard here. Two General's Bodyguards, in fact. Come on, the Trolls. Right now, out, boys. Out, damn spot. Get them. Oh, that charge, though. 
That charge. That's what we like to see. Very unlikely for them to uh, run away, though. Um, very, very unlikely for them to run away. Come on, Bane Guard. Now's your time. In the Citadel Guard over here as well. Right, trolls, let's go. Get into those. Need to keep them moving, the trolls. Fire your javies. Quickly in the back and then we'll charge. That just it. There's two of you. Come on. The rest of you need to fire. There we are. Now kill. Charge, eh? Let's get them. Oh, the trolls are going to have a field day over here. Come on, the boys. These poor archers. And wargs. Imagine being one of those archers. That's not a, a sight that you would welcome, is it? Let's get into that general's bodyguard then. Let's go. Get through them. Let's go. Get out here. And then we can charge the back of these guys over there. We're doing a pretty decent job. Kill that goddamn Gondor cavalry, boys. Let's see, where's the red? Still guard. Get the Gondor archers. Trolls. Kill the Gubba bodyguards. Come on. Fight them. Kill them. Gondor cavalry is not this good, surely. It's very been very tough so far. You guys that way. Get over here, cavalry. Oh, these guys. Yeah, kill the archers. Bodyguards are more important. Oh, they're down to 14. They're on like 50 before. <laughs> now the trolls have come in. They're getting absolutely shredded. Let's get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, these poor... The Gondor Cavalry are dying now, which is good. Should also go for a little bit of that. Before their general dies. And then the next one we'll do when their general's dead. They've broken now the lamed on clansmen. Now you keep coming this way. Now straight in the back of that general. Okay, that's one general dead. Dervorin. Maybe we regicide them. That would be funny, wouldn't it? How much have they got left? Oh, we've, we've pretty much wiped them out. I think the only person left fighting is, is this guy fighting to the death. Anyone else left fighting? Surely not. Uh, the trolls can have a... a troll, none of the trolls even died. Who's fighting? Oh, one single knight of the Silver Swan. Good lord. The single knight of the Silver Swan left. I will protect Gondor. You fool. Gondor is already gone. This general's bodyguard needs to die. Everyone get after him. He's still a general. No, we've got to continue because we need to kill that general. Got to kill him. Go on, Cav. Got to get him. You've got to get him. Otherwise, we don't take the city. Ah, oh, there we are. Good. Dorian. Dead. Oh. Did so much more damage than them. Three times more damage. Bengard doing well. Nice. Berserkers also doing pretty well. Trolls doing decent. 92. Well done, guys. Good stats once again.
Ah, Gondor! Gondor fails at the hands of the Uruks. Gondor shall never be saved again. And it, it is firmly now the world of the Uruks for us. The world of the Uruks and the Orcs. And when we finish after next episode, um, we will have a toggle fog of war just to finish off on to see how everyone's done. We'll also look at our ranking, how we rank. I still think Enidwyth is the most strongest faction, but which is very surprising to me, but whatever. Okay, so Tarnost is now ours as well. Yes, yeah, execute them, and we shall execute the people of Tarnost as well. For holding on to the notion that there is a point in what you're doing. We've got an Olokai again. Oh, cool. Is that an Olokai? Yes, it is. Not that we're going to be able to use it. Um, we got another one. It doesn't really matter now. Not going to be able to use it in time. Yep. I think that's everything we want to do, isn't it? I think that's everything. You're sieging down Pelagia. I might auto-resolve that one. We have Tarnost. So we have Brethel, which you're going to take. And then we have Fanwilond, which I think we'll use this army to try and go and take. I wish there were some mercenaries available. There's nothing. No one wants to work with the Uruks. It's very sad. Anyway, guys, let's uh, end the turn there then. See what happens. Can't believe I accidentally got Saruman all the way over there. <laughs> he needs to come back. Come back, Saruman. Do not leave us. And we've also kind of turned the Vale of Dorwinian evil as well. The Vale of Dorwinian have joined us. In their fight against Dale. So. Perhaps we can sort our differences this time. Um, yes. Glad we could meet. Another proposition for you, sir? Scammed you once again. More fruitful in future. Yes. I am happy with the, our parlay, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, God damn it! Don't want this. <laughs> I don't want this! Oglur. God. The endless, the endless orc armies are insatiable and incessant. The conqueror of Kirith Ungol. Well, we'll fight it anyway, but as I say, it's it's pretty impossible to keep these guys going. They are very annoying. Mordor is the most annoying faction to fight against, most definitely. The one good thing, though, is we can defend. So let's find a lovely place to defend. I mean, there's not really anywhere that's great. <laughs> Ideally, I would like somewhere where my boyos can fire down the hill. With the ranks below them. And I think this is probably the only place, really. So. Let's get... Oh, is that all the infantry I have? They have an obscene amount of infantry compared to us. So, let's spread far and wide. This is really a, a depleted Saruman army. The archers there. We'll get you guys up on the hill. Archers can fire over fine, so you there. Ballistas on the hill as well. So archers more that way. Um, make sure you're on fire. I'll put you on fire arrows just so I can see where you're firing. We do have very, 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 very strong units. So that is the one thing. And Saruman, it looks like you're going to have to be in this fight, my friend. Get the berserkers over this side. Cavalry can all stay on this side. Trolley holes. You go this side. I think that's everyone, isn't it? 
Ballista, can you fire? Nope, doesn't look like it. It's all coming from up there. So I think we've set up about right. Yeah, probably. They've got obscene amount of infantry. They've also got trolls of their own. Look how much infantry they have. Oh, the grind is real, boys. The grind is real. <laughs> yeah, fire at those goddamn trolls. You should be on fire at will, my friend. Ah. Okay, we hit a couple there. Now, fire over here. Oh, killed two in one shot. Very nice to see. Oh, brace, boys, brace. Brace. Um, very, very high glances. New power is rising. Let's kill them. As long as Saruman survives, I'm happy, but he I'm pretty sure his unit is unbreakable, so if we lose this, Saruman will die. And that will be the uh, penultimate closing shot. <laughs> Saruman dying just before our empire would probably most likely fall into ruin at that point. Keep firing. Why are you firing in arches? Fire those temple wards. Temple wards are a nightmare. Hellish unit. Get there. Oh! The berserkers. They're just going for it. Let's go. We do have a cavalry dominance for once. When I say for once, I mean... We've had cavalry dominance a lot, so... <laughs> I'll just ignore the Black Orcs if we can. Get those Varia Glances. They're wavering. Get them. Oh, they're broken now. Out, boys. Out. Damn spot. Who are you? Berserkers. Let's go. Get them. You firing. Fire at those Black Orcs. Everyone's a bit... Why are they all so shaken? They not have a general. They didn't have a general, did they? Their general is actually over here. Wait. I think... Wait, I think the general is their Loke in Asrim. Right, let's press that. What's this, then? Black Horrocks. I think we can get a decent charge off on those boyos. Come on, boys. How are the trolls doing? Looks like all the trolls are dead now. How's our line looking? Looks, looks okay, you know. There's just an obscene amount of enemy, though. They're already broken. That's nice to see. Straight into these ones, then. Then we'll get those Black Ulrich Halberds. I really need to kill this Loki ass rim. It's their general. Kill them. See whether we can break them just with the overwhelming numbers. Ah, uh, no. We need to get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, boys. Get out. Come on, berserkers. Don't have any Nazkai in this as well, which is unfortunate. Ballista. Keep firing at them. All the Loki Nazrim, ideally. Why are you walking? It's not ideal. Hmm. Let's get those black oryx. And you've reached the Loki Nasrim. Fire at it then, please. This should break them. Surely a big charge. Oh, come on, that was an awful charge, boys. Awful. Wasn't even a charge. Oh, look at that shot. Lovely shot. Saruman is just firing away. Can you hit that Loki Nesrim? 
Everyone fire at the Loki Nest Rim. Here we go. Come back from routing. Oh, come on. Lovely shooting. Only they're down to 31 now. Another volley. Oh, yes. Glorious. It's glorious to see. How are you guys doing? I think you're beating that Sauron's will. Quite handily. Don't like this. Oh! Fantastic! Let's go! That's their general dead, so... Should be a lot easier to kill them all now. What is that? Oh, it's just a little hummock, I was gonna say. Okay, Sauron's will's gone. Load of people breaking now. Let's go. They've broken. Let's go. Let's go over there. Uh, let's get these halberds. It's really not the fight we wanted to take, but it's worked out okay. I say okay just because it's worked out just okay. It's not worked out amazing. Come on, break them. Break them. Break them. Yes, okay. Some are broken. Yep, they broke. Good. Let's, uh, do we get in that blob? I think we get in that blob. Yeah, go boys, go. Kill the temple wards, you two. Okay, fighting to the death. Into those ones now. God, that was close. Saruman's just chilling, just still firing his weapon. Break them! Now they're just shaking. Right, let's get away then. These are boyos. Yes, they are. So get in there. Everyone over there broken? It looks like it. Straight into that Sauron's will. Oh, that's just going to eat them up for breakfast. Into those guys now. Now into there. So this is a problem. They, they'll route for a little bit and then just come back. Black Oric Archers, charge them. It's hard to charge these guys because of their spread out formation. It's actually the other way around. Like normally a spread out formation for cavalry would be uh, very easy for them to charge through. But just the game mechanics, I think, don't allow you to get a good charge off on those... Uh, Broken formations. Let's eat as many as we can. How many have they got left? 84. So we need to kill a few more to fully destroy them. Probably these guys really would be it. Yeah, now up to 86. Good. Who's not routing? Who's not routing? I can't see anyone. Oh, these guys. Oh, well. Speed it up. There we are. Fantastic. We only lost 229 in that. Isengard's not OP at all, guys. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at some of these. Crossbows, 246. Main guard, 234. Infantry, 227. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Saruman, 211 with a unit of only 73. That's pretty unreal. Pretty unreal. Well done, guys. Hmm. So that should hopefully be uh, that settlement as as well. Swooping on them. Swooping on Gondor. Finally getting rid of the scourge of Gondor from the world. And supplanting it with the scourge of Uruks. <laughs> oh, fantastic to see. Fantastic to see. Oh, no, it's not. That was, sorry, that was a... Uh, Fight with Mordor. Oh, god damn it! Not another one. 
What does he have? Great beasts. Let's try this. Oh, clear defeat. We'll accept the ransom though. Gone to the port. We've gone to the fort. I think we'll just use the Witch King of Angmar to uh, sort him out. Probably should have fought that. I just didn't want to fight Mordor back to back because Mordor's just so boring to fight. Because you fight their army so many times, and they're exactly the same every time. Like it's not. <laughs> it's not difficult either. Yeah, baggage train lost. Whatever. Ostithil. Dunlorak is besieged again. Dunlorak has constantly been under siege. Levin in under siege, we know. Isengard got the beast training ground. Wow. Cool. Storehouse. Saralon got the hunting lodge. Not that this matters anymore. It's fine. Cool. Oops, where am I going? Alright, so Tarnost. Oh, we can do a draw a battle over here as well. That will be glorious. First things first, though. Let's move this army onwards to Famwilond. And let's uh, stick these guys in Tarnost. They do have this massive army, but he shouldn't want to take any places that are not bordering his. So if we just carry on taking them, they'll they'll be gone. Pelagia. I feel like let's auto resolve that. Because otherwise we'll probably we will probably would have lost more than the auto resolve because of the ballista towers at Pelagia. Most likely. So let's exterminate. Pair what we can. Don't need all those buildings, but can build that. And then we'll repair that one after. Nice. So Gondor should only have these two left. Uh, and if, even if they don't, I'll class that as Gondor dying. <laughs> class that as beating Gondor. So guys, well I think that's going to be it for today. Um, 50 minute episode, pretty solid. And we'll uh, end our lovely campaign on the next episode. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And uh, please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help out the channel. So hopefully, I will see you again on the next video.